Everyone, welcome back to NAF Math Tutoring. Today, I'm gonna to share with you the secret to circle geometry questions. Now, the circle geometry, the math god, sorry, entrusted this secret to me ages ago, and I may get in trouble for sharing this, but I'm gonna risk it because you guys deserve it. So the secret we're gonna do with circle geometry is this list right here. So whenever you perform a circle geometry question, you're gonna write this list on the side. And what this list stands for is this one is the center. This one is angle. This is cyclic quad. This is tangents. And this is miscellaneous. So what that means is, is these are your, this is your theorem list. So you're gonna write this list on the side of your circle geometry questions. And this represents any theorem that involves the center, which is, or anything involving the center of a circle, which includes equal radii. This angle, because this theorem is so popular, it deserves its own letter just for one thing. And that's the angles in the same segment on the same arc are equal. So it's that crisscross pattern. Right, these are equal and those are equal. Right, this theorem is so popular that it deserves its own letter. So always look, be able to look out for that angle theorem. Next we've got cyclic quads. So what do we know about cyclic quads? Opposite angle supplementary, exterior angle, it's opposite interior angle. Nan T stands for any tangent theorems. And M is either random circle geometry theorems that are rarely ever used or just normal geometry theorems. Right? Circle geometry uses normal geometry. So the way this list works is you're gonna write on the side. So let's look at an example. So here you got, you got this example here. Okay. So we've got two circles intersecting the points A and B. A, C, D is a straight line, B, C is a straight line, G, C, F is a straight line, E, A, F are straight lines. And I'm just gonna get this up here. We have to state why angle E, A, D equals angle E, B, D, angle show that angle E, D, A equals angle A, F, C. Hence, I'll show that B, C, G, D are concyclic points. So I've got that diagram drawn up here for us nicely. So the secret circle geometry is first, make sure you have a nice big diagram. So if this is your work, your A4 sheet, this is what your circle is gonna be that big. And on the side here, I'm gonna write my list. Okay. So what you wanna do first with this list is go through and cross out anything that doesn't apply. That way it shortens the list and the shorter the list, the better. So C, are there any centers in any of these circles? No, nah, so we can ignore that. Angles, possibly, right? In order to use this, you need to have four points on one circle. So just make a note here. Four points on one circle, which is the same for cyclic quads. So if you've got four points on one circle, that means you can use the angle theorem or cyclic quads. Tangents, there are no tangents. And in miscellaneous, there's always miscellaneous. You can always use normal geometry. So what we do with this list now is, when we're trying to do um, a proof, for circle geometry is we just go through and go through this list and see which can I apply. Because if you go through this list, there's one, you can apply at least one of these at, per step. So it just gives you an option. Instead of having to go through your head and think of every theorem, you've got a list right here to pick from. So the first part was I wanted to prove that this angle here, EAD equals angle EBD, is that right? Yeah. So why does this angle equal that angle? Well, if you notice here, you go through your list straight away. Does this theorem apply? Angles on the same segment on the same arc are equal? Yes, because this angle here starts from arc ED, and this angle here also starts from arc ED. Therefore, straight away, those angles are equal because they are angles in the same segment on the same arc. But straight away, that proves the first one. That's only one mark, it's not meant to be that hard. Next, show the angle EDA, which I'll call Y now, because angle A, F, C, this angle right here. Now the problem we see straight away is that um, they're in different circles. So circle geometry theorems only apply for one circle. So you've got to find a way to link this angle to both circles. And let's just go for a list. Can I apply the angle theorem? So that's all we're gonna do. Uh, let's look here, look where Y is. Now Y is here on the circumference and it starts from AE. Any other angle starting from AE? Well, yeah, this one here, if I just connect it. So straight away, then this angle equals to this angle here. 
These two angles are equal because that's angles, and again, same segment on the same arc. Now, if you look at this circle, I'm trying to get this to be Y. So then we'll just look here, what theorem's gonna apply, let's start at A. All right, well, straight away, done, because this angle here starts from arc AC on this circle, and this angle also starts from that arc on that circle. So straight away, I just proved that these two angles are equal just by using A twice, right? This is the most popular theorem, so that's why it deserves its own letter. So if you've got four points in the circle, just look to it, use it. Let's go to the last part. Hence prove that B, D, G, C are concyclic points, which means they lie on a circle. So in order to prove that, we need to actually prove the cyclic quad theorems, which are opposite angles of supplementary exterior angle, or even A. Now if you look at the diagram here, this angle is X. So that means I either have to prove this angle here is 180 minus X, or that angle there is X, which will straight away prove this, these four points are concyclic. So it's gonna go through our list and see what can I apply. So are there any angle theorems I can use now? Well, no, I've pretty much exhausted all of them. With all the Y's, you see here, I've exhausted them. Now I go to cyclic quad. So don't forget, there are cyclic quads in these original circles. So A, E, D, B is a cyclic quad. So what do we know about cyclic quads? Well, opposite angles are supplementary. So if you look here, this angle here is X plus Y. So that's this whole angle, which means the opposite angle has to be 180 minus X plus Y, right? Because they're supplementary. Okay, so straight away I've got an angle here. That, okay, so I've used cyclic quad, can I use it again? Or well, not really, no. I can, can't really use it because I haven't got any other angles to use it with. So now we're left with miscellaneous. So miscellaneous means any random geometry theorems. Now if you notice here, remember our aim was to either get this angle here or this angle. If you notice here, G, F, E is a triangle. So then you think, what? that's a part of M. So what triangle theorems do I know? Well, if you're trying to find this missing angle here, that's just angle sum of a triangle because I've got two angles. Now, see here, this is Y, this is 180 minus X plus Y, which means that straight away has to be X by angle sum of a triangle. And hence, we're done, right? Because this angle here, interior angle equals opposite exterior angle, which proves it is concyclic. So you see this list here, um, this list is great. Right? So whenever you're doing a circle geometry question, make sure to write this list on the side, cross out, anything that doesn't apply straight away, and then you just got this list to pick from. So just go through each of these. So the key is make sure you know all these theorems, and you should always be able to apply at least one of the ones that aren't cut out. So this makes circle geometry questions that much easier just by having a menu to pick from, right? When you have a menu to pick from, it's much easier than trying to create your own menu in your head. Right? Much better to write, have it written down. So this is the list I created. Gods did not um, tell me this unless they vented in my sleep. But otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Comment below if you enjoyed it and what other secret tips you'd like. And don't forget to share this with friends and obviously subscribe. Make sure to turn on notifications on so you know when my videos are released. Otherwise, make sure to practice this menu and tell me if you enjoy using it.